Hi guys! So, welcome to our first Craft With Me video for 2024. And with that in mind, I thought, what could we do as today's uh, craft? So, I thought, why don't we do something that I know that a lot of us will probably be doing this time of year is trying to maybe reorganize our stash of stickers, ephemera, scraps, whatever. And so I thought of making something that would be cute and useful at the same time. So we're going to be making an, a large envelope ephemera holder. So I'm sure you've seen the little thumbnail, but let's get into it and then I'll show you what I already made and how we can use it. So for the supplies that we're going to need, um, I'm bringing out my new 12 by 12 double sided paper that I had originally purchased or ordered online with Joann's and this is called uh, the Vintage Memories and this is the DCWV, that's, it's, that's the brand, but this I originally bought um, on Joann's website. So we're going to use this one. And so I already picked one out. We're also going to be using one of the Tim Holtz backdrop papers. And you'll see why we need that in a minute. I'm also using um, glue. You're going to need a one inch hole punch. Um, some eyelets. Some twine. Um, let's see. Your your scoreboard, um, some type of cutting if you want to use your your cutters, your um, craft knives with the ruler, whatever it is that you want to use to cut. I'm going to be using this one, so I'll be using that to cut, and maybe my little mini one. And of course, all the supplies that I'll be using, if I can link it, I will link it in the supply list down below. Um, let's see what else. My corner rounder, my crocodile, um, scissors, mm, maybe pencil, tweezers, and then whatever it is that you want to use to decorate. So let's get started. We're going to be doing first and I already did it, is the lines to make, we're gonna actually use the whole 12 by 12 to make a large envelope. And I already, you know, this is the whole, you know, way, I guess, the structure of how I normally make them. I don't know if there's another way, but this is how I do it, is I draw a line from corner to corner diagonally, both sides. And then so I do that with pencil and then we can grab like this is double sided. So this is going to be the outside of our envelope and this will be the inside. And so you just get your corners, put it in right at that middle point there. And we're going to flatten these out with our bone folder. And then we're going to do the other side. It's going to be kind of like a just what deconstruct I was going to say destructed. <laughs> That's not the word. Deconstructed kind of envelope. You'll see in a minute. And then we're going to bring this part so you just decide if it's directional, then you decide which one you want to be up and down. But we're going to put this about here and my point is still on that center line. And so we're going to put this about here. And again, you know, the fold sizes, it's it's up to you. Whatever you want or ever however you want um, the size to be is what you're going to do. This part, we're going to just kind of bring that in just a little bit. Again, um, li aligning it with the middle. Um, pencil mark that I did so there's that okay and then this is going to be our top flap and so this I'm going to bring it down and maybe about 
um, maybe about here. Usually the top flap doesn't fold as much as the bottom. So this will be a little bit shorter. So it's gonna go like this, okay? Now with this little end one here, I am going to corner round. That is completely optional, so you decide. So here is our deconstructed little, or not little, <laughs> pretty large envelope. But I just thought that this might be a fun way to kind of store our supplies. But let me, of course, this had to have happened right now. Let me get this a little bit unglued here. It doesn't feel like it's stuck, but just needs a minute to come out. I feel like my my craft desk for the past few days because I try to um, I guess what because of the holidays I try to uh, wait before I say anything I'm actually going to cut off these little ends here in case you haven't seen how we do it and the fold I will actually cut just a little bit off of that fold so I'm going to do that on all four corners but I was saying that I was going to um, that I needed to just so that I can spend extra time with my kids I pre-recorded some of the videos so that I had that time and because I did that I feel like I haven't been in my crafty corner <laughs> in a while and so I felt like I needed to kind of jump back in and get back to my regular schedule, but my glue was clogged up. I couldn't find some of my supplies. And I'm like, wait a minute, I thought I cleaned everything up beforehand and I don't know what happened. So I just felt like my little corner was being a little bit neglected. <laughs> so I'm happy, I'm happy to come back and actually start up our regular schedules. And sorry I didn't, um, post anything yesterday. Today my it was my kids' first day back to um, school after the holidays, and so I had to kind of run around and get things for lunch and kind of prepare for the week. So it was kind of a, a bit to do. I am corner rounding this, and I'm doing that because of the closure that we're going to be doing. So here is what we what we have so far. I am going to go ahead and erase, excuse the jiggling of my desk, but I'm going to erase this line here because, like I said, it's a, dis a de I see, I wanted to say destructed. What is wrong with my brain today? It's a deconstructed only because we're not going to be sealing it shut. And I don't want these pencil marks to show. So that's why you do it lightly and that's why you do it with a pencil. So I thought this might be a fun idea to kind of help with our our stash and kind of organize it, you know, in a cuter way. So here's this, we got it. Now, this is what we're doing, let me show you. I already made a couple, but this is the one that I already have decorated. So here is the front of our envelope, which is this part here. And so that's this, and I decided, I wanted to decorate it and so I thought this was really fun idea and a fun project to use our large group paper dolls from Tim Holtz and so here is the back with our flap I do have a velcro snap there but we're opening it this way like a book so we're gonna open it this way and you can see our flaps here I did go ahead and decorate because I wanted something there and then this is why 
I decided to um, corner round these two ends because we're going to make a closure to open it this way. And then I have a flap here. This is what we're using our Tim Holtz paper for here. I used, we're gonna be using vellum for the pockets. And so I just put a couple little pockets just in the front, like maybe for stickers, small ephemera, whatever you need. And then you open it here and you've got two big pockets here. So let me take these out so you can see. So you have a big pocket here, big pocket here. And then you have three smaller pockets on this side. So here you have one, two, and three. So I just thought this might be fun to use as kind of a sticker holder, ephemera holder, or even your scraps, maybe some favorite scraps that you wanna keep on hand, you can put them in this thing. So isn't that fun? So I thought this would be kind of a cool idea if you have like a drawer or something and you can just keep it away like this and kind of have like a little, <laughs> a little few here, you know, and just to kind of rummage through, maybe you can put a label and you can tell, you can say what it is that you're storing in here. But I just thought that it was a fun idea. So let's keep going. So with this, I am going to measure what where I want this. Now, because I need to see what the lines are or where the lines are here, I'm going to use my ground espresso, the Distress Oxide, and then just kind of darken up my edges here, just so that I could see where I'm at and where the edges are to the inside of our envelope. So I'll be doing this all the way around and that's just to kind of give me that border. So let's put that away and there we have it. There's my border. So now I see exactly where I have it and where things need to go. So this is the way it's gonna open. So this is our bottom flap. I'm gonna have it on this side and then our top flap is here, okay? So with this, I'm just going to, I'm going to leave it because it's not gonna reach to the very end. You can, if you want to, get another 12 by 12, but I didn't wanna waste another one just to do the, the um, inside flap because I do wanna use the vellum as the, um, as the pockets. And so what I'm going to do is just measure this to where it's not completely to the top and not completely to the bottom. So I'm just going to kind of cut it off right there. Let me set this aside. And I think I could do it with my small, my smaller cutter my paper trimmer and then there it is so this put this over here I'm going to use the my scoreboard and I'm going to score it at uh, maybe three-eighths so I like to use this this um, bone folder because it has this little round tip and I feel like that kind of helps me not to go too deep <laughs> and so I'm going to score it about three-eighths of an inch and that's going to be my little flap so that I can open and close it so let me just fold this because I want this side to be the side that I have in the front and then we can open it this way so let me just flatten that out and save this so that we can make the little circles so that we can do the closure. So keep that in case you're using this size. I am going to keep it straight. You can, well, you know what? No, let's, let's do the very smallest corner round 
punch just to kind of even out those little edges there, just to round them out just a tiny bit. Okay, so we could come back here and then all we're going to do is glue down this and then it'll be like this. I just like to have this extra flap, you know me. If I can add little flippy flaps everywhere, I would. I love having that extra space so let's put this down. You're not going to want to glue it all the way to the corner because you want to give it some space to um, open and close. And also because of the fact that we're going to be adding things inside. So it'll just be better. See that? So I didn't. I left um, some space in between so you could see that mark there. And because this is beautiful double-sided paper, that's why I wanted to use vellum. So like that, you can still appreciate and not cover what's underneath. And so now we're gonna get out our vellum sheets. Let me move my little sample aside. And I'm gonna get out my little cutter. I have a few scraps from the previous one that I made, so let's see if I can use these. Let's see how big is this. I wanna see how big I want. Because I am going to be um, making gussets on both sides, so you wanna kinda of make sure that you have that extra space. So let's do, I'm just gonna go off just a tiny bit. So the fold is here, practically on that line. And so I am, I am going to leave a little bit on both sides, just because we wanna be able to leave enough room. Um, by making gussets, it's giving us more pocket space. I think I'll leave it this, this um, width. So let's see, is this one the same? No, this one's a little bit bigger. So we'll trim them both down so that we can have the same size pockets on both. And I'll give you the measurements in a minute. Let me move this out of the way and bring out our cutter. So I have my two strips together and I have my mark here. And so all I'm going to do is put them both in so that I know that I have them exactly the same cut that down to size and then I'm going to trim the bottom one to match the top so let's put them both together and they're probably going to be uh, oh okay they're three and a half they're three and a half um, wide so let me just put this I'm trying to get it to measure right on the spot okay oops there so these are going to be our two bottom pockets so these are measuring three and a half by seven. So these are measuring three and a half by seven, but we are going to make the gussets. So again, very lightly and still doing the, I'm still gonna do the um, three eighths of an inch gusset. So I'm gonna do that on three sides. And I'm gonna do that on both of them. I like to use the flat side when I'm doing this. And then last side. Now, with these little corners, we're going to cut at an angle on both ends 
so that it folds up easy and they're not hitting each other. So we're gonna do that on both corners. See how I have that? So we're gonna do that on both of them. So let's do it here. And last one. Now we can fold these down. And then fold this. And then last one. We're gonna do the same for both sides. So I'm going to do this one, super simple, easy pockets. Of course you don't have to use vellum if you don't have it. You can just use your regular, um, whatever type of scrap scrapbook paper that you might have on hand. Trying to think if I want it like this. I guess it doesn't matter. I'll just do it like this. Okay, so let's put these pockets in and then we'll do the smaller pockets on the other side. Come on. So these are just gonna go here. You see how we have that? Let me see if I can ink a little bit so you can see where that line is. There, you see where that line is? That's where our pockets have to go in between. So it's perfect. So I'm gonna put it closer to the bottom, but not at the very edge. And then we'll just glue this down. Hopefully my, yeah, my glue's fine. I thought because I had it sitting that it was going to plug, plug up again. So let's put this right here on the bottom. And make sure you leave enough space on both, on actually all three sides. The bottom and the sides. Now this I have it pretty much right leveled at on my at the edge of this paper so it just kind of gives it that finished look I feel. Okay and then we're gonna put this one right here because we still want to give space to put things in and out on the on the top side so we'll put that there. About here. Hopefully we got it even. I'm thinking it's okay. So there's that. Not bad. And now I have a full sheet that we can do three here. And then we're gonna do maybe some scattered ones here. We can do another two, it's up to you. I just had those little scraps left and so I decided to make the smaller pockets on the front. Okay, for this one, again, we're gonna leave some space for the gusset and we're gonna do it over here as well. 
So there's that. And then now to decide how long or how big and deep we want the pockets to be. I'm thinking maybe about, if this is three and a half, maybe two inches. So let's do that. So like that we can have the, um, the three. So I think I'm going to bring out my bigger one so that I can cut all the way down. And so that'll be, <clears throat> excuse me, that'll be easier for me. So I have See, we can use these for the front. So let me put this back. And then we can go back and do two inch strips. Maybe two and a half, only because we are going to be making the gussets. So let's do two and a half. So we don't lose we don't lose too much of the height of our pocket. So two and a half here. We're gonna do three of them. And then again, keep that for the front. Bring out our scoreboard again, and then we're gonna do the gussets on all three sides. Again, three eighths of an inch, making sure not to go too far <laughs> into it so you don't rip your paper. And then here. And I'm just gonna do the same thing on all three. Last one. Just holding it down with my fingers to make sure that the paper doesn't slide. Okay. Now we're going to cut again just like we did the first ones. So the pockets are all gonna be made the same and you just decide how, how big you want them. If you want them to be smaller, bigger, if you wanna do more pockets or less pockets, that's totally up to you. I always try to make projects that we know can be customizable to whatever it is that you need for your space. And so, We are going to just finish this off and then we can glue these down. Again, cutting at an angle on both sides so that it's easier for us to fold it in. So we're just gonna fold this in. all three sides. If by chance, this one I didn't do just quite right, trim it off, no big deal. So there's one pocket. Here's the second one. last one. And then we glue these down and then we just do the front pockets and technically we're done. 
Okay, so again, these this one is probably going to go just a tad bit higher than the bottom, so it won't be even, Stephen, here, only because I don't want it to go all the way to the bottom. So let's just go ahead and glue these down. See? It did get stuck. I knew it. Okay, try this again. There it goes. And then we're gonna put this a tiny bit above the edge of that line, of the edge of the paper. And then we could do the top one just to kind of make sure that we have the middle one centered. We're going to do the top one about here. So again, we still have room to kind of put things in and out on the bottom. I mean on the top of the pocket. So we'll put this one here and then we can put this one right in the middle. Okay, so we'll do this right at that eye. <laughs> that's kind of where I have my my measuring so right about here and again just trying to even it out making sure that we have everything pretty leveled off okay and then this one will go right in the middle and right about I want to say about here I felt something bumpy on the bottom and I was like, what is that? It's my little fold here. Okay, so there's our pockets. You see that? So the one, two, three, and then the big pockets here. And I, I mean, the pockets, you customize them as you need them. If you wanna maybe do it in half, you can glue it down, do two different pockets on each side. So. You do what you need, what works best for you. So here, I can do another big pocket and it could just kind of hold maybe taller things. So let's do that. Uh, let's see, I think I might be able to just use this size. That might be good. So let's see what size this is so that I can tell you. Uh, this one is three and a half by uh, maybe six and a quarter three and a half by six and a quarter that's going to be the that um, pocket there now if you need smaller pockets for like little or smaller things than like I did on this one that I have the smaller pockets here I should have left this open then you could do that if you need it for maybe smaller stickers smaller ephemera you could do that I'm gonna just, I mean, so you do whatever you need. I'm gonna just do this. Again, doing the 3 8 of an inch gusset on the three sides. Cutting the corners at an angle. And then folding them in. And then folding this side in. 
and then this side. Now we can put this in here. Wow, that's pretty spot on if I do say so myself. <laughs> so let's just put this here. put this towards the bottom and there's that we could put maybe a couple of smaller ones here should we my little cutter only because I already have it I already have it out so let's just do it let's make them because of the gussets let's make them just a tiny bit bigger so let me just copy this size And we'll gusset these. Because, let me see, if I gusset them, will they fit? They might. Barely um, spot on, I think. So let's do this. I'm doing the 3 eighths again. I just think it'll be cool to have one big pocket to put bigger items in and then two smaller pockets just to kind of have a, a wider range of storage in these so because I do like the the smaller pockets just for smaller things like I might use these to um, store some of my um, stickers and ephemera you can use them. Yeah, see, look, I like the size of this. Let me tell you what the size of these are. This is three by um, two and three eighths before you fold it. So I just, I like I like this and you can use this for anything to store whatever it is even if you want to maybe use these to um, gift Happy Meal see how cute that is put them a little bit um, lower so there it is let's do that the sky's the limit with these I love that So let's just put this here. I'm gonna line it up with the line that's already on the paper. And do this one. And again, lining it up here. And there it is. See how nice the vellum looks through, you can see the, you know, the paper on the, even though you might cover it anyways because you're going to be adding things. But either way, I just think that it's pretty. <laughs> I think it's pretty. So there it is. Now let's do the, um, let's do this. I'm trying to see what will look cooler. I always do four.
even though it's pretty, you know, it's pretty nice weight cardstock, I just think that it's better to do um, four. So like that, you can get that extra weight on it when you put these for the, let me see, what am I doing? I think I like this side. These are gonna be for the eyelets so that we can do the closure. So I just like to glue two together. So let's do this side. Just closing that off. And then I do want to ink around this. Maybe I'll use this side better, just so that it matches the other one. So we'll put these here. And then try to center it. And I'm using the bigger size. So there's that one. And I'm going to use that to maybe... I got that one pretty good in the middle, so let's just copy that one. Put that like that. So let's do, let's see which one I want to put. Maybe a black, yeah, the black shiny one. I don't need that anymore, and I'm going to be using this. So let me position my paper right, so I can get that down flat. Let me do that again. Okay, and then we're gonna do this side. Let's see how close do I have it at the edge. Just, just to try to match it. So that's pretty good right there. So let me make the hole on this one. Right there. And then get another black shiny one. There it is. Put that in. it up. I hate when this thing locks on me. So let's do this one again. I feel like I didn't have a good grip on this because of the, the paper. There. Not bad. Okay, so there's that. Now we can add our string. I'm using this um, black one, the black and white. And just wrap it around the top one. Bring it down just a tiny bit and then just make a double knot. out of my finger then we're gonna just cut this end off and then we wrap it around you want to you might want to lift it up for the first time then afterwards it kind of gets its perfect now we need the um, what did I do with my I had my my little um, Velcro dots. That's okay, I have more. These I'm using because they're sturdier, because they're bigger, and because we're gonna be using this for storage. 
So these are the ones that I get from Dollar Tree. And we're going to put the soft side down here. What am I doing? We do it this way. It goes here. And then we stick it down. And there it is. There you have it. So here's the front. We can decorate it. Let's decorate it real quick. Just get a fun few things. Ooh, yeah. I wanted to kind of do it a little bit manly. And so look at this. We could put this one. Maybe put this back here. Let's see which one we want to use for the gentleman. Since I put ladies in the front of the other one, I want to use some guys, but I... I don't, I don't like to use the ones that are sitting because it kind of it kind of kills me <laughs> to try to figure out what they're going to be sitting on and how it's going to be done. This is cute. Or I could put these little guys. I could do that better. Let me see. See? Got these guys. But let me see, you've got these. See, why do they all have to be sitting? Would be cool though to have these because I just feel like it goes better. Mm, I kind of like these guys. So let's do this. Let's figure out how they're gonna be sitting and what they're gonna be sitting on. See, isn't that cute? to have this kind of behind them like this. But they need to be sitting on something. We can put this maybe like that have them sitting on this it might be too long I need something a little bit shorter ooh but I kind of like this off to the side here I'm just looking for something that might go a little bit better there because their feet are not hanging on anything. Does it matter? I guess it shouldn't matter, right? It shouldn't matter, but I'm just getting crazy because I like to have everything kind of, ah, let's keep it like that. I like the way it looks. All right, so this is what we're doing. So, this one kind of needs to go here, but I am going to ink. Go this down. Put this about here. Just eyeballing it. Then this one needs to go because this one needs to go on top. So this one needs to go about here. And glue around this. This is where my tweezers come in 
Okay, and then this could be about here. I guess I could cut this. I could cut this down. So if they're sitting here, Ah, forget it. We're just going to do what we have and put this down about here. And then this little piece will come over here at the corner. Right about here. And then We'll just glue them down and then the cover is done. Put this, put them about here. <laughs> Cute, right? Oh, I love it. It's so much fun. And this is a perfect opportunity to use those big, um, the large group paper dolls. And so then we have this. And of course you can decorate the inside. And then we have this with our two pockets here, a big pocket there. And then we've got, let me just show you. Let me get some smaller pieces. So we have pocket here, here, and then we can use bigger pieces for say here. And then we've got storage to put on this side. We've got these big ones we could put here. I'm just grabbing whatever. And then we've got stuff we can put here, here. See, isn't that fun? No, not that one. That one can go here. Just a bunch of fun pieces. See? Super cool. There you have it. Isn't that neat? I like it. I like it a lot. Then decorate it, grunge it up, ink all around it. Don't forget to close it up and it's ready to go. So that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, craft with me video, sharing something that we could use to kind of decorate and um, store nicely in uh, little envelope pouches, I guess. But I just thought that this was kind of a fun idea, especially since, you know, some of us are gonna be trying to do some spring cleaning soon and, you know, trying to reorganize a few things. And so I just thought that this was kind of a fun idea to kind of kick things um, into gear for this new year. And there it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all that jazz. And I will see you guys on Friday with another Craft With Me video. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Bye.